Hello and you, welcome to Geekism and welcome to the Colonists, a, uh, a game all about little robots entering your colon. Uh, no, of course, it's the Colonists and uh, it's been on my radar for a little while. I've actually been playing it for a little while actually. I was beta testing, uh, but I haven't been allowed to do videos. Now I am. It comes into early access today on Steam. Very cute. Wally meets Settlers. Uh, meets uh, lots of other different sort of city builders. Very cute, nice, nice mechanics. Um, and uh, we're going to jump in and have a little play of it. All right. So I've already done level one. Uh, I think it's probably worth going into level. No, go on. Do you know what? I'm going to redo level one because it's been a few weeks since I've played. And um, I remember the whole game being not difficult, but there was a lot to see and a lot to follow out and stuff, okay? So, uh, by the middle of the 21st century, significant advancements have been made in the fields of robotics and artificial intelligence. Scientists have begun developing self-aware principal robots capable of simulating human needs for sustenance and shelter. Faced with an indefinite future of servitude, one group of robots hatches a plan to create a new life for themselves. Realising there would be no place on Earth they could enjoy freedom without persecution, they look to the heavens. They commandeered the nearest rocket ship and flew out into the darkness of the solar system in search of a new home where they would be free to fulfill their dream to be human so the idea here is that uh, you're robots so you're all very automated and very structured but you are still looking for wood and fish and stone and all the sort of uh, you know standards you would expect for uh, you know a sort of like medieval city builder almost the story is that they're robots but they still need sustenance and stuff i think that's a little bit weird i think what would have been quite a cool idea is to say that they're robots and they're getting ready for a civilization that's going to turn up but it never does you know like proper go for like the wally kind of you know he just keeps plodding along uh, even though the humans aren't coming i know that's a little bit morbid but i you know it, it's a bit of a weird thing to see lots of robots fishing and uh, burning wood and stuff you know uh, but still if you get past that it's actually quite a cute little game we've got going on here. We've got this little dude, he's getting it out. The idea is, uh, the big key difference with this is that people aren't, uh, the robots they aren't just like running around and filling in gaps. Uh, they're very regimented as to where they can go and you build almost like supply lines or trade lines. You'll see in a moment. So, at last, Terra Firma. Right, let's get going. You are Dronebot Geekism and you are in charge. I always wheeze me out when, they know, when they've got that name. But it, I forget that they've just pulled it from Steam. <laughs> uh, looks like a good island to test uh, and throw robotic systems while the crew are unloading a few basics then at WASD and Q and A. Woohoo, where good am I? Uh, right click to drag and move, use the mouse wheel to zoom and hold the middle mouse to rotate and tilt. Lovely stuff. Uh, got three resources to get a start. That's wood logs those are there. Look, we've got 16 logs. Um, so we're clicking here, lots of stuff going on here about how much is being reproduced, how often it's being produced, how much is being used, all that sort of stuff. We have 16 logs in there, okay. Click the highlighted tab to go to the logs overview panel. Here, let's get an overview of some logs. Uh, Portal construction material, your color ship has a basic replicator which will slowly produce them. So uh, the idea here is that you can never run out. Because sometimes if you run out, there's no way of creating any more. If you run out of logs before you built a, uh, a logging camp or whatever, can't get any more. Uh, so the, the 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 this thing here will very slowly churn some out. So there's you're not going to like goose the game that way, basically, which is quite good. Uh, you're going to need a lot more logs. So let's build a lumberjack hut. Okay, so uh, this has moved a little bit. These used to be over here. Uh, right clicking anywhere inside the panel and use or using the X button. So there we go. Okay, now click the flashing button. Is there a button that's flashing? Yes, oh, it's still there in here, look, sorry, yes, okay, build uh, a lumberjack hut, yes, we want to build one of those. So, we're going to put it exactly where it wants us to, which is there, but normally, you know, you can put it wherever you like. It needs wood, it needs logs, it hasn't got any logs, so now we're going to have to get logs from here to here. The way we're going to do that is by uh, putting down a path, alright? So, um, we can see it needs logs, yes, click on the logs in the lumberjack hut there, yes, okay. Priority order, um, yeah, we can see in progress it needs two logs, okay. So, we've got logs at the colony ship, there's a route, there is no route there, we're going to have to build a road, okay. So we're going to come in here, we're going to build a road, and we're going to go from here to here. And what happens there that is that little fabricator makes a little dude, and that's his job now. Th this little robot exists there, this one will now come in. Fill this gap and this gap. There we go. And you'll see they get this little conveyor belt, like a factorio type thing almost, you know. 
the old conveyor belts head up there and start taking the stuff they need. So we now have, um, we've got a little guy who sits on this bit, a little guy who sits on here, here, and here. Okay. And you'll see them all do. And if you click on the wave, now this one here, this is a lumber bot. Lumber bot refugia is now heading up, making her way up to the uh, lumberjack hut. And that's it. So now, so some of them will will potter off, as you can see here. They're going to go in there and and make and cut down some trees. That's good. Uh, click on your lumberjack hut. And there's a few things we need to do here. Then, okay. So first of all, we're going to see energy it uses one of these a day. Well, it looks at things. So it's currently there. We go. It's got loads of these because so, they will deliver that as they as they need it. Look, there it goes. There we go. A little dude will come and pop it there. Perfect. And then as they go down, you'll see, boop, um, and you get charged up now, there you go, get yourself charged up, off you go, and then the next one starts to come out, there you go. So you've got to make sure that you've always got a, uh, a, resor a resource on the way, so eventually we're going to start running out of this energy, so I'm pretty sure the next thing we're going to do is create energy we can create a small amount uh, like the logs there you go you see it being made there but we can also make residences which are going to be our, uh, our main source of energy okay um this is where i think the uh the analogy starts to get a little bit lost personally but you know get past it and you've, you've still got quite a fun little game here there's our residency it's going down there that's good stuff we're going to connect it with a road boop to boop there we go and little dude comes up to fill that bit of road and another one comes up to be the uh, residency person there we go so we've got a constructo bot comes over to get built stack bot eddie resides here now so we've got stack bot there as well and then these are carry bots okay so the carry bots work it up to a stack bot stack bot then puts it where it needs to be we can change the game speeds in the top right. We can use Z or X as well. Uh, good. We can use them. Nice. And we can pause with space. Nice. Uh, residence is finished, but the icons above the building show the house bot doesn't have the required resources yet to produce the energy. It needs water. Okay, so we're going to build a well. Good stuff. There we go. We're going to build the well right there, apparently. Uh, we need a path. Now, uh, there, here's a good one. Path. So paths are basically like cul-de-sacs. They're just they, they they stop basically. They can't carry on. So you can use it just to bring stuff off a road like this. And you'll get again. You'll get a carry bot come and chill out. And carry bots can go up and down paths. Um, so we can use these quite usefully. To the buildings themselves will stick usually one piece of path on them. But here you can extend them to pull things out a little bit. There we go. Resident also needs food. So we're going to get some fish. We can also do. Um, sheep as well but we've got fish near us so we're going to do fish all right so we're going to do r and then we can flip it look uh, f to flip the rotation there we go and they're gonna they're gonna go and get some fishies uh again we'll use a path there i think because it's going to be a pretty much dead end really we just need a path to the fishing hut so you'll see they cut they they don't really go off and do anything because they don't need anything themselves they're, they're purely there to continue the uh furtherance of the race you know which is pretty cool so they just kind of hang out and it's more like i say it's it's kind of a mix between a city builder and a, i don't know what you conveyor belt game is that even a genre you know things like factorio uh big farming you know that kind of thing you know which is quite cool because i miss factorio i was talking to factorio about somebody the other day wasn't i who was it oh um um, Yamakara, uh, uh, a web streamer I've been watching, he was saying that his uh, big break was with uh, Factorio, and it's like, Do you know what, that's one that always missed me for some reason. Uh, we have a stone deposit just outside our territory on the other side of the island. We can click on it now. Yes, there it is. Stone is used to make more advanced buildings. We can use it with a surface mine, but only once the deposit is inside our territory. So we've got to extend this sort of... Uh, Ghost of uh, this ghost of war, this fog of war, a little bit, haven't we? So we're going to build a watchtower. Nice. Um, you can choose where to build it yourself. You need to place it near the border so you can access the stone deposit. Well, let's go then. Um, um, uh, watchtower. There we go. So, I mean, 
over here somewhere is the, makes the most sense, doesn't it? But not too... There, yeah, that'll do. There we go. And we'll build a road out to it. So we'll go road from here. Uh, let's go... Um, like that. And then we'll add a bit of path from here, I hope. Yes, there we go. So that'll get started now, the watchtower. Take a little longer to build. For the watchtower is being built, let's construct a forestry to plant more trees. Oh, right then, let's do that. Um, what's that going to be? Forestry, there we go. So this would make sense to be over here somewhere, seeing as it's near the... Um, near the lumberjack. All right. Now I think we have to pick. We have to pick, don't we, where it goes? Um, yeah, we're building the forestry. Okay. So how do, how do we? There we go. It's in progress. We can set where uh, where it gets done. I'm assuming it's going to tell us when the building gets built. We can we can select an area. Here we go. Um, Forestry, yeah. Follow the yellow alert icons in the forestry building to allocate some tiles. Allocate 10 tiles. Okay, so how do we do that? Uh, clear tiles. Here we go. Right, we're doing it. Okay, so 10 tiles. 5, 10. All right. Watch the tower still going. I think we could probably do that, couldn't we? There's no real reason why we can't... I don't think there's a reason why we can't do that. Okay, tile selected 40. Good, go for it. So, that will... Uh, that's Gwendolyn's forestry. Are you Gwendolyn? Gwendolyn, you've got a little tree, love! Forester Glen Gwendolyn is my new favourite. Look at her plant this tree. This game is adorable! Like, it's it's kind of make It's kind of freaking me out how cute these little robots are. I love it. Um, our residency has now got water and fish, and it makes energy. There we go. So somebody will now come and grab that energy, or is it not quite done? Oh, it's not quite done yet. Look, it's on. They're on the way. From misery to happiness. Aha! Watch tower is built. So now we're going to get a watcher come out. Who's our watcher? Uh, here, Guardbot. Guardbot Charlie. He's going to get up into here. Arms up. Yes. Garbot Charlie, uh, Garbot Charlene, excuse me, my apologies. Um, we can now build a stone uh, surface mine for our stone. Okay, so go ahead and build surface mine to mine the stone deposit and start producing stone. So you have to be just near it, do you? I guess, yeah, okay. So let's do something like that. I uh, see, I'm assuming once we get into it a bit more, placement of this kind of stuff is going to be a so much more important about figuring out the perfect sort of combos and uh, you know kind of really getting the the the, the um, what's the word I'm trying to think of really getting the the, the I don't know the good thing happening <laughs> total mental black you know so that stuff happens quick and, and uh, efficiency thank you oh there we go is the word I'm thinking of efficiency is the word I was trying to think of here we go so little Little uh, grab a box, come in and get some wood that's needed here. Oops, there we go. It's now going to place for build bot Delia to do their thing. And that one as well. I'm really happy about this. Really happy about our little surface mine. There we go, it's done. Uh, Eugenia, I'm assuming he's on the way. Who's Eugenia? Eugenia! Eugene is a bit of a machine. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Eugene, my love, come on. You are stunning. I'm in absolute awe of the size of Eugene. There we go. She's got some battery there. Needs a little bit more. I'm hoping there's another battery on its way. Are we, have we not got any? Oh, my word. Are we waiting on batteries? There we go. It's going to come straight up here. Look at this. How good. Gonna get dropped off. Next one's on it. There we are. So the good thing is we can speed this up really. Nothing's gonna get away from you because they, they just kind of chill out, you know. There we go. Making some stone. So we haven't got to tell her where to go. She's just gonna kind of found it. 
Um, you may notice the surface mine also requires level uh, one energy to function. Let's have a look at it then. Okay, so here we go. We've got none. So we are... We're not making any from there. So let's have a look. Here we go. Is there a supply and demand? Here we go. Um, demand is... We're not covering the demand at all. Potential surplus. So um, I'm not 100% sure about that. It looks like we not haven't got enough. Maybe we have now. Now it's in place. Oh, there we go. Demand is 100% now. So yeah, we are we're running out here. Build two more residences. That sounds like the perfect fix for this sort of thing. Um, so you're here, residence. There we go. So let's, we, it would make sense to just have them like so, wouldn't it? And then we'll carry the road out to them a little bit like that. Okay. Oh look. Oh hello. Um, are you telling me that there's nothing, yeah, that we're having to pause, are we? Sorry, Eugenia. Here we go. Uh, second residence is now up. Third residence is now up. They've got food, they've got water. They're going to be knocking out energy like it's nobody's business. Um, we can build another fishing hut to increase your food production as well. All right, let's do that then. Um, that's going to be under here. Fishing hut, very good particularly matter where oh, I don't really want them right next to each other that looks a bit silly doesn't it uh, we can do Z was it Z to flip no oh what oh does Z pause Z pause but doesn't unpause okay that's weird what uh, F was flip sorry there we go okay we'll build it like that and it's a little bit off kilter then. It looks good. All right. Can, now, here's something interesting. Can we do paths? Can we do a path off a path like that? Is that acceptable? Looks like it is. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Cool. Um, more residences mean more house spot needs. So demand for water and food is increased. Build another fishing hut. Okay. Yeah. Fish, fishing hut is underway. Uh, in the meantime, oh Z, sorry, yeah, it's less than one, so that's why it goes down to paused. I see, sorry, uh, it makes perfect sense, John, to you imbecile. Uh, functioning colony and your skills are looking promising. My skills are looking promising. When you're time, when you're ready, it's time to move on to somewhere with a bit more space. Well, do you know what? I'd say that we've uh, we've had a pretty good start there. Next episode, we'll uh, we'll try the next one, which I think I might have done because I remember having sheep at some point i definitely remember sheep being a thing and there you go they're all chilled out now everyone's chilled out because we've got everything we need you see this is this is how it works you see we've got fish coming in so they'll they'll keep going to their fish is stocked up and then they should probably stop as well shouldn't they how, how, how much uh... oh no they can they can stack the fish up. all right you go see here look well, wells full so they'll calm down the well Energy's full, but it's not being used anywhere because the only person who's actually getting some uh, stuff done is uh, Gwendolyn here. She's plant planting the hell out of some trees. But other than that, stones filled up. But the idea is then, if we went, if we suddenly clicked and built something more, they would all fire into play again, wouldn't they, and get some stuff done? But yeah, look at that. Awesome. Right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, you can give us a like. It really does help out the channel. And if you're new here and you'd like to see lots more creative gaming for grown-ups, all you have to do is click subscribe. Any thoughts, queries, or suggestions, you can pop them down in the comments. If you fancy a chat, you can find me on Twitter. I'm at John T. Sparrow. If you'd like to join in with the Geekism community, you can do so over on our Geekism Discord server. You'll find the link for that in the description. Thank you very much to all of our patrons who are very generous pledges to make these videos possible uh, over at patreon.com slash geekism. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.